Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a soil mechanics problem, and in particular, this is going to be a sediment problem. Uh, so here's what the problem says. Using Schmertman's method and the information below, which of the following clo most closely resembles the sediment of the foundation below at year 10. Uh, the correction factor for strain relief is 0 0.35. A four kit per foot force is applied along the fo continuous foundation. Uh, the foundation is 50 feet long. And then we see our answers there in inches. And then we also see uh, we have five different layers of uh, that we're splitting this sole up to. And you get that information off SBT or CPT data, rather. You get this off of uh, CPT data. So uh, interesting. Okay, so if we're looking for some information on Schmertman's method, you're going to be in PE, uh, page 104 or 105. And then uh, the formula that they give you is SI is equal to C1 times C2 times delta P uh, times the sum from 1 to N of H delta HI. Okay, and then it gives us a formula for delta HI. That guy is going to be equal to HC uh, times IZ over, that's a Z. Let me rewrite that. IZ uh, over XES. Okay, so that's what we've got. Let's go off our knowns to start out with. Um, we know that C1 is going to be 0 0.35, so that's this guy, 0 0.35. Uh, C2, let's go ahead and solve for that. They give us a formula for that. Uh, it's going to be 1 minus 0 0.2 times the log 10 of our time, which is 10 years. It says it in the problem at year 10. So we're going to use that 10 years over... 0.1 and uh, that guy ends up being 0.6 so now we know what C2 is we know what C1 is let's solve for delta P delta P is just a uh, typical pressure it's a load over an area well uh, luckily we're kind of given a force over a length so it's four kips per foot per linear feet so uh, every feet is experienced every foot is experiencing four kips applied to it so uh so we already have the length dimension now we just need to divide it by the width and then we'll have a load over an area so this guy is going to be four kips per foot over five feet because uh, the load's being distributed over that five foot foundation okay so that guy ends up being 0.8 kips per square foot so we have a load over an area so that's good uh, however we do notice that our units are in pounds I mean we're talking here 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 even uh, a lot of its in pounds so let's go ahead and convert this because we may have to use pounds later in the problem well 1,000 pounds is a kip uh, so this means this is 800 pounds per square foot okay all right so so we've solved all three of these guys. Now we need to move on to the HIs. Well, uh, it shows that we need to add them up. It, it shows the sum from uh, 1 to our initial being 1 uh, to the number of layers. Well, we have five layers, so we're going to have to add every single one of these layers up uh, and include them in our HI. So uh, I'm going to scroll down, and we're going to practice on that. I'm going to try and keep the table up here, too, so that way we can kind of see the first layer and how it's done. Um, for HI1, I'm going to write HI and then I'm going to write a number 1. So this is the first layer. We know it's 4 feet thick, okay? And the reason why it says it's 4, we say it's 4 feet thick is because it says from 3 to 7. So that's 4 feet thick. We're going to multiply that by our uh, IZ, which is given in our problem, 0 0.2762. Okay, and then we're going to divide that. By our X well what's our X good question it addresses that I think on page 105 X is going to be 1.75 in our case and the reason why is because we're in plain strain 
Uh, the reason that we know we're in plane strain is because the length of our foundation over the base of our foundation is greater than or equal to 10. And in this case, it is 10 because we're 50 feet long and 5 feet wide. So 50 over 5 is equal to 10. So we're in plane strain. Um, okay, so this is going to be 1.75. And then we're going to multiply that by our uh, ES. And so our ES for the first one is going to be 520. And so we're going to solve that guy out, and you end up with 0 0.0012. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and skip through this video. I'm going to write down all the other layers all the way up to number 5, and you can compare what you have with what I got. All right, so we've made it to the end of, uh, of layer number 5 and you notice that it's six feet thick uh, so that that changes some things that'll change your calculation so uh, be mindful of that it's actually six feet thick it's not just four feet and they may use that on the PE to trip you up uh, you may think it's four feet all the way down well you know they'll they'll get you there so uh, so we need to add all these layers up and so when we do you get 0 0.00327 Okay, so that's what we need to use in our formula that we talked about earlier. So right here is where what we just solved for. And, uh, and so what we need to do is plug and chug now. So let's rewrite the equation. SI is equal to C1 times C2 times delta P times sigma I equals 1 to N of delta H I and so we know C1 is 0.35 we know that C2 we solved that earlier 0.6 and then uh, our delta P is 800 pounds per pounds per square foot so that's PSF we're going to multiply that by what we just summed up so this is going to be 0.00327 Okay, so let's uh, let's plug that stuff in. You should end up with 0 0.549 feet. Uh, your units are going to be in feet, so let's convert that to inches, 6.59 inches. And so that is pretty darn close to 6.5 inches, which is B. So I hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time.